What's up YouTube, Yoke Gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna have some baked barbecue oxtails. Baked barbecue oxtails? Yeah, come on, let me show you how to make it. All right, so what we have here, depending on the size of your family is, in my case, I have about two and a half, three pounds of oxtails. Now, what I did before this point, I put them to slow boil on the stove for about three hours and 30 minutes. Now, after the first boil, when the water got very frothy, let me back up a little bit and let you know that I did wash them with vinegar, salt, and water first. I washed them, I rinsed them, and then added to a pot of boiling water. When we got our first boil and the water became very cloudy and frothy, with all those impurities, we got rid of that water, we reintroduced water, and we put it back on the stove to boil for the remainder of the time. Now, this is what our, fi not our final product, this is what it looks like right before our final product. And let's talk or let's get it to that final product because I'm ready to try these. What you are going to need is some black pepper, paprika, lari seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder, some cayenne pepper, and some olive oil. Let me make sure that these are all dry first. And a lined cookie sheet with some foil paper is what you're gonna need. Okay, I always tell you to make sure that your meat is dry so that you can make sure that your seasoning sticks to your meat. You don't wanna use the water as your binding agent. You wanna use something like mustard, olive oil, um, on that sort to make that happen. So I am just going to put these on here to make sure that all the water has been removed from these oxtails. And it looks like it has. I have very minimal water at the bottom of this dish. See there? Good job, yo. Get another piece of paper towel and we're just going to leave that alone because my hands are now nasty. Okay. Just pat the excess water off that you have hanging around on these beautiful oxtails. Okay, now let's put these over. You're gonna just fix them on your lined cookie sheet. In no particular order, you just want them to be, at least everybody has their own little spot. Like so. Let me just flip that out. Okay. Bone side up, you might have some of the shorter end of the tail and that's fine. That obviously has to lay flat or lay on its side, because this would be lay flat, lay on its side. Let's get rid of this glove. Now, like I said, the binding agent to hold onto my seasoning is going to be olive oil. And the aerosol can. And yes, before anybody strokes out in the comments, this is olive oil just as if it was in a bottle. It's just in a pressurized can that causes it to spray. You got it? <laughs> That's all it is. So instead of me drizzling the olive oil and wiping and all that stuff, I am just going to spray. So much easier. My oxtail pieces. Gives it the same flavor, smells exactly the same as if you were spraying it into a frying pan on the stove. No different. Okay, let's wheel that around. Let's get all this olive oil coated on here. These oxtails are obviously cool to the touch, so I'm able to um, touch them and make sure that they're seasoned. So that is what you want to make sure to do that once they have boiled 
you want to let them cool. If you wanna choose to run cool water on them, fine, however you choose to do it, just make that happen before you move on to your next step, which is seasoning and um, putting them into the oven. Okay, so the olive oil is on that. I'm gonna go in with some Lari's seasoned salt. Let's see if I can get this open with one hand. She's a pro. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle some Lari seasoned salt all over on both sides. Flip, Flip it over. The other side. Okay, now we have enough seasoning on the bottom of our cookie sheet or baking pan, whatever you wanna call it, to where we can just roll it around and just pick up the excess seasoning. So it's covered on all sides. Very simple, tasty, tasty dish, very simple. Okay, we're gonna go in with some onion powder. Did you see that? All right. Can she do it? Oh, this one's missing the cover. Mm. Shoot. It's just lightly dust. It's missing the little cover on there. Lightly dust with onion powder. Rub that in. What I should have done was just put it in a bowl. That's what I should have done. It's all right. Garlic powder, we're gonna make sure this one has it on before we start shaking. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. And yes, it does. Sprinkle. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, I did not season the water while it was boiling. None, all I did was washed it in salt water and vinegar. I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. No, I'm sorry, cayenne powder, cayenne pepper. Very light, you just wanna get a little bit of kick from this. Or if you want a big kick, you can add some more. See, this right here is pretty much allowing me to judge how long to leave it in the oven. Remember, these have been boiling for quite some time. And now I know exactly that I don't wanna overdo it in the oven because I don't want it to dry out. Okay, some paprika. This one is a pop top, so it should be quite easy. Now, paprika, in my opinion, ain't nothing but color, but we gonna, we gonna use it. It's almost like a must. But to me, this don't even have no flavor. Unless it's smoked paprika. I don't know how much y'all like smoked paprika. I don't care for it too much, unless I'm doing like some type of Cajun dish or Creole dish. and some black pepper. No, I don't need this. 
because I need two hands for my black pepper. Finely grated black pepper, ground black pepper. Put on another glove so we can turn that over. All right, this way we can just do all the final rubs with both hands. Okay, this is not going to be covered. We're just gonna add this to the oven as is. For about 30 minutes, let it dry out a little bit. Let's get some of this fat dried out and see if it can yield some. And then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce. Y'all ready to eat? I am. Okay, let's get rid of these gloves. Let's head to the oven. All right, we're set on 375. I am going to put it on the lower shelf because I don't want them to be direct heat until after I add the barbecue sauce so that we can get a nice sticky glaze to that. 375 for, let's go, I think I said 20, let's go for 30, 35 minutes. All right, and we'll be right back. Let's see how we're looking. Let's take a peek. Okay. So it almost looks like a dry rub, if you can see how that looks. Give it just a few more minutes before we add the barbecue sauce, and we'll be ready. We got a little bit of time. I'm gonna give you a quick little story time. You're probably wondering, yo, what is that? These are queen olives. They still have the pit inside of them. I'm gonna show you what they look like in one second. I can stick one, okay. They are huge olives. They still have the seed inside, so that's called the pit. Now. I got this recipe. We used to frequent Jamaica pre-pandemic. We frequent Jamaica probably four, five, maybe six times a year. And I just absolutely love Jamaica. The country is beautiful. The people are friendly. They will give you their last. Jamaica, big ups yourself because you guys are amazing. And I stayed in a resort and they had a bar called Miss Lou's Bar on the second floor um, by, I guess you can have the, vi the view of the infinity pool. And this is one of the things that they would give you to, I guess, keep your drunkenness down because it was an all-inclusive uh, resort. So it was just unlimited drinks, drink, 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 drink. So they would give you like different little things to try to keep you, you know, not going off the edge. Now, what this is, is olives, obviously, in the olive juice. But in the juice of the olives, you have some Worcestershire sauce as well as hot sauce. So what I did was I poured off just a little bit of the olive juice and I added Worcestershire sauce. Just add it until the color turns brown, if you're interested in this recipe. And you wanna add some hot pepper sauce. If you can find Grace hot, hot pepper sauce, that works extremely well. Be careful because olives are just like tofu, potatoes. They absorb flavor very, very, very quickly. So you wanna be careful and judge your hot sauce in it as well as your Worcestershire sauce because you don't want it to kind of overpower each other. And when I tell you it is good, it's good. Definitely must try. <laughs> so that's a quick little story time. Let's get with these oxtails. Take a look. 
Okay, if you look, it looks like it has a dry rub on it, which is great. And they are drying out pretty well. We got the fat, still looks good in certain places, but I don't want it to dry out completely. And if you look right here, I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty much falling off of the bone. So at this point, I'm going to take it out of the oven, crank up the heat just a little bit, add the barbecue sauce, and we're gonna put it back in for about five minutes. Put this on the stove real quick. All right, how good does that look? Then we're not even done. I want to taste it already. Now, if you don't eat barbecue sauce, fine. But it kind of defeats. It would be baked oxtails then, versus baked barbecue oxtail. I mean, you can stop right here if you'd like. But we're not. We got to go that extra step and. Put that sauce on there. Let me get my sauce. We are going to use some red stuff by, this is drip sauce. This is spicy apple vinegar, 3D barbecue sauce. And we're gonna add it to our yummy oxtails. Let me get a spoon. Before I get carried away, let me not crank up this heat just a little bit. We're gonna take it up to 400. Shake it up really, really good. And crack this seal. Spicy apple vinegar. Smells great. All right, so I'm gonna spoon. I don't know what I did with my little brush. Okay, see, they're dried out very well. We got a little piece there that went a wall, so we're gonna try that. Okay. Mm. Drip that goodness on here. And we are gonna put this back into the oven so it can caramelize nicely. Let's get that all over. I don't know where I put my little brush, but anyway. We're gonna make do with what we got. Got one more here, <clears throat> Long Ranger. sure that everything is coated nicely before we go back in so we can get a nice glaze going. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to get a glove. Let me grab a glove really quick. Oh well, we always talk about getting it done Improvising, that's what we do, whatever it takes. All 
All right, so once we got it all covered, we're gonna put it back into the oven at 400 degrees for, oh, five, six minutes. And to, well, you can judge it and see if it's nicely caramelized at that point. All right. Remember this little piece here I told you that went AWOL? We're going to taste this. We're going to say that dance for later. Let me wash my hands and get this back into the oven. Okay. Vámonos para el horno. Lo vamos a dejar cocinar. Bueno, ya está cocinado, pero lo vamos a dejar ir por unos 15 minutos hasta que se ponen bien glazed. No sé cómo decirlo en español. So, si lo sabe decir en español, por favor, déjamelo en los um, comentarios que me gustaría saber. Ok, para el horno. Hasta ahorita. We'll see you later. And we are done. Let's turn this off first. Oven off. Let's pull this out. Look at that. They are perfectly dried out, glazed. The fat is still incorporated in certain spots. I'm ready to taste this. Get a good grip on this, because we don't want no mishaps. Let me close my oven. Excitement overload. Let me get two pieces. Let me get this one here too. Look at that. Mm. Now, you can pair this with whatever you want. You can treat it just like barbecue ribs. If you want to do potato salad, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, the whole nine yards, you are more than welcome to do that. I am just going to make a quick little side salad nothing too major but that is what we are having let's head to the tasting section <laughs> okay so I can already tell you that this is piping hot but it is falling off of the bone literally just rate that up mmm Ladies and gentlemen, baked barbecue oxtails. Mmm. Mmm, very nice piece. I just want you to appreciate how they're just falling off the bone. See that? Mm. That is so, so good. <laughs> that bite was really hot. Yo gang, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you once again for joining me. Remember, if you have not yet checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do. Pick up a t-shirt or a gun bag patch. I really, really appreciate it. But as far as this goes, I need to start making my salad. 
because I'm ready to eat. Y'all already know I love y'all to pieces and thank you for joining me. Peace.